Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we're going to discuss the distance formula. So what is the distance formula? Well, essentially, the distance formula is a restatement of the Pythagorean theorem packaged up into a simple equation that will allow us to find the distance between two given points. So let's consider the two points, negative 2, 1, and 1, 5. Now it's the standard process to find the distance to the, of these two points. We can simply uh, graph them um, and then draw a straight line between them and then develop a triangle as such. Would this be inside A, this side be inside B, and the hypotenuse, which is the distance between the two points, be inside C? So graphically, uh, once again, it's easy to find uh, what C is just using the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So using this process, we can simply find out that if this is a point 1, 5, and this is point negative 2, 1, that uh, we can see that A is going to be 3, and B is going to be 4. So if we just plug that into the Pythagorean theorem here, we find that 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to C squared. And just calculating that out, we find that it is equal to 9 plus 16, which is equal to 25, which is equal to c squared. And we find that the hypotenuse, or the distance between these two points, is the square root of 25, which is equal to uh, 5. So this, uh, this method obviously holds true in any case. Um, however, the, the distance formula like I said, repackages this formula into a simple, um, a simple equation that we can just quickly plug in any two given points in a, in a coordinate system to uh, figure out what the distance is between those two points. So the distance formula states that d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y squared y2 minus y1 squared and all that is under the square root now this is of course if we're given x1 y1 and x2 y2 so all we need to do is plug this given information into the distance formula and we will be able to determine the distance between those two points so let's look at a quick example here let's say that we're given the points uh, negative 3, negative 2, and we're given the point 5, 2. Now we can go ahead and graph this, make a triangle, determine the sides A and B, and solve for the hypotenuse C. Or we can go ahead and just take our distance formula and plug in the information that we are given, which we will do in this case. So uh, D is equal to the square root of X2, which in this case is 5 minus x1, which is negative 3, all that squared, plus y2, which is 2, um, minus y1, which is negative 2, all squared. So working that out, we get, uh, we get the square root of 8 squared plus 4 squared which comes down to the square root of 80 and just throwing that into our calculator real quick we find that the distance between these two given points is 8.94 so that's essentially it guys not much to it uh, it just once again is a re the distance formula is once again a restatement of the Pythagorean theorem it just allows us a quick concise way to plug in two given points and define real quickly what the distance is between those two points so if you guys have any questions go ahead and visit my site at engineer and training exam .com. 
Check out the other videos I got posted there as well as here on YouTube. Leave comments, uh, suggestions, you know, email, contact me. I'm always open to help you guys out in any way that I'm able. Um, once again, everything's free for you guys to use. So check it out and uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon. All right, take care.